Hi guys, my name is Diana, and welcome to the October episode of Inno Games TV. As you might have noticed, a lot of stores are carrying Halloween-inspired stuff now. And if you're looking for inspiration on your next costume, maybe you can dress up like me. But enough about me talking, and let's go right to the overview. We start the show off with Elvenar, where Timon and Oliver introduce to you the first guest race, the Dwarves. Next, we move over to Pear from Forge of Empires, who explains to you their latest Halloween event. Afterwards, Travel Wars 2 artist Camilo shows you how a graphic concept becomes a final in-game graphic. Then, game designer Niels from Grepolis sums up the game's live Q&A session over on Periscope and Twitch. After that, we go over to Stephanie from the West, who explains to you the game's Fossils Day event. Last but not least, we show you some behind-the-scenes images from our community manager's latest visit. So, Elvenar fans, if you're excited about last month's news about the guest races, well, the first one's finally here, the Dwarves. Now let's see what Timon and Oliver have to say about that. Hello, friends. In one of our last episodes, we teased you about our upcoming races. Today, it's time to announce the first guest race. It is... Dwarves. How do they look? What do they want? Timon, it's time to bring some clarity. Finally, your scientists were able to build a portal that can revive long-time forgotten races. After unlocking the portal technology and placing the portal in your town, the first dwarves will arrive immediately. At first, they are but a shade of their former selves. But once you set up the first small settlement and push your research further ahead, they will recover fast and help you invent plenty of new stuff for your own town. The dwarves are true craftsmen. Soon you can construct the first granite mines, followed by copper foundries. Granite and copper are new resources that give you access not only to upgrades of their buildings, but also to a bunch of new technologies. Those technologies include new upgrade levels for the existing buildings, new culture buildings, and of course, new unit upgrades. There is really cool stuff to unlock. We hope you're looking forward to see the dwarves in game. Go to the forums, let us know what you think, and stay tuned for the next Elvenar video where we can already announce the next big thing. Until then, keep on playing! Now let's head over to Forge of Empires where Pear gets spooky with the game's Halloween event. Enjoy! Dear viewers, my name is Dr. Pear Kröger. And I'm not only a game designer of Forge of Empires, but also a man of science. And as such, I've made two discoveries that I want to share with you today. The first discovery has to do with a great man of history, with a great explorer, with Christopher Columbus. And from the 8th of October, you can relive his adventures through a time-limited quest line. If you manage to play through it, if you manage to solve all the quests, you can get your hands on a champion's retreat at the end of the event. And then, for my second discovery, later that month, by the 26th of October, Halloween is gonna be in town. Jack O'Lantern, the famous Pumpkinhead, will pay your city a visit. And he has a unique questline for you with riddles. So you have to figure out what he means, what he wants, solve the quests, do as he asks, and if you manage to, if you play through all the quests, then you can get your hands on a graveyard. That's a very unique, rare cultural building. If you have that from a previous event, you can upgrade it to the old graveyard. If you already have the old graveyard, you can upgrade it to the ancient graveyard. And if you're playing with us for a very long time, if you already have the ancient graveyard from last year's Halloween, then you can upgrade that to the legendary graveyard. That is even bigger, even better. And not only that, you can also get your hands on a completely new building, the Mad Scientist's Lab. <laughs> it's a great production building where you can produce all sorts of different things, whatever your heart desires. All right, Forge fans, that's it for me. That's it for Dr. Per Kröger. Um, enjoy our two questline events. Have fun and... <laughs> so guys, have you ever wondered how a graphic concept becomes a final game graphic? Well, let's head over to our artist Camilo from Travel Wars 2, where he'll talk all about that. Hey guys, um, I'm Camilo, the artist of Travel Wars 2. And today I'm going to show you something really exciting, a day in my life. How about that? 
The first thing that happens is me getting a mock-up from our game designer. This mock-up is the minimum requirements that the player needs for the feature. So I take this and start brainstorming ideas. So after this, I start designing the interface, which has buttons, graphics, and all this sweet stuff that we like to see. And when I'm done, I present the product to management and game design. Um, they usually just, after looking at it, they give me feedback. What can we change? What can we improve? So the process is actually really fast. So we change it right away on the fly uh, because we don't like to waste time. So after this, I implement all the feedback, create a real, real nice looking mock-up and send all the screens to the front end developers so they can implement it in the game. So just to give you guys an idea, the whole process really depends and it can vary from three hours or even weeks. Okay guys, this is it for now. I hope you enjoy it. I did enjoy it a lot. So what we should do is actually share more ideas. Please write in the forums. It's really important for us travels too to hear what you think. For now, I say goodbye, keep playing, peace. As you might have noticed guys, we've been doing live Q&A sessions over on Periscope and Twitch, and this time, it was Bethel's turn. So game designer Niels will sum it up for those that didn't see it. Hi guys, this is Niels from the Grappolos team. Some weeks ago, we had a question and answer session on Periscope and Twitch, where we gathered your feedback. Today, I'm gonna share some of it with you. So, let's go for the first question. Good question. Communication is the next big thing for us. That's why we are going to work on messaging, publishing reports, and as well on improving the BB codes. Another thing, the Alliance form. That's what we are currently planning and designing. Integrating the events on mobile just takes a lot of time. That's why we are currently thinking about ways to give you at least a basic functionality on the events and mobile. We just wanted to test the implementation on the beta server. And we removed it due to your feedback as you thought that packages were much too powerful. We would really like to do those, but from a technical standpoint, we can't provide you with a smooth gaming experience. And technically, all those servers would be too slow for what you were wishing for. Yes, for sure, free features are on their way. Currently, we are revamping the early game and we are going to work on the late game as well. But that's only two of the bigger features. There are small ones like the night mode as well. Currently, I'm working on rough game concepts for the late game. This will include PvP and alliances. And when we have final concepts or at least some more details, we're going to present them to you and get your feedback on them. I really enjoyed taking your question and see you in game. Hey cowboys and cowgirls, are you interested in bones? Well, if so, then pay close attention to the West Fossil Day event. Hey there, dear players. I'm Stephanie, game designer of the West and captain of today's time travel. Please remain seated until we reach our final parking position. What a bumpy ride! Well, thanks for choosing West Airlines and uh, welcome to the dinosaurs. Rawr, rawr. The years 1890 in lovely Montana, where Barnum Brown, paleontologist for the American Museum of National History, leads his first expedition to the Hell Creek Formation, the exact same spot where he'll later find the first documented remains of a Tyrannosaurus rex. But why am I telling you this? May I present the tooth of a Spinosaurus, one of the largest carnivores ever. This little thing here is approximately 100 million years old and it was found in the desert of Morocco. Yeah, I'm showing off. 
Anyways, in celebration of fossils and to promote the awareness of their scientific value, each year the National Park Service holds National Fossils Day. This year it's October 14th, and since fossils are awesome, and tons of them were found in late 19th century America, we thought, hey, let's make a mini event. So, if you love fossils and excavations as much as I do, or simply long for a new adventure, be sure to check our game mid of October. That's it from my side, and uh, as always, have fun playing and see you in game. From time to time, we invite our community managers over to our Hamburg offices for workshops and to get to meet us. This time I hung out with a few of them and did a few interviews for you guys. So let's see what they had to say. August was a fun time for 42 of our community managers. We flew them in from all over the world to meet them, feed them, and host workshops for them. They learned from some of the best here at InnoGames. But with all of them here, I wanted to know more about them. So I sat down with a few of them and asked some questions. So now I'm here with Tom, who will tell us a little bit more about himself. Hello, Tom. Mm -hmm. So what game are you currently working on and for how long? I'm currently working on the Elfenar Beta and I've been doing that for about half a year now. Cool. Um, have you been to events like this before? Uh, I've been to various team events. Uh, this is the first time that I'm here on a community manager meeting. But I, I have been to events before and uh, met people. Uh, yeah. is, is this your first time at InnoGames? Uh, no, it's my second time that I'm here at the office. But the first time with so many other community managers. Oh well, I bet it's really overwhelming, a lot of faces. There's a lot of faces, a lot of people I've talked with uh, over the years and uh, that you now finally meet in person. So that's always great about these events. Um, what's your favorite part about the job? Uh, the diversity, for sure, and the people. Uh, the job is very diverse, uh, you get to do a lot of different, thing, different things and uh, yeah, no day is the same and that's great. Yeah, I bet that, that sounds lovely. Well, thank you for your time. I hope you have a great time in Hamburg and I yeah, hope we see you here soon. And now, let's see who else I can find. While I found more people, our CEO Hendrik gave our Comas a brief presentation about our history and congratulated those who have worked for us for five years. So finally I found another fellow American, her name is India, and she will tell us more about what it's like to be here. So hello India, um, how are you liking the event so far? It's been wonderful here. I've really enjoyed Hamburg so far and it's really great to meet the people who I've talked to on the internet for so long, actually seeing them face to face. Can you tell us about what your favorite part of your job is? Um, I love getting to connect with the community. I'm a really good bridge between the consumer, you know, the, the actual clients of the players, and the developers, and being able to figure out, well, what can we do to make the players happier, but what can I tell the devs that it conveys that, you know, and make sure that the devs understand what's priority towards the towards the, the player base, and then the devs can tell me, well, this is what we're working on, this is the new features that we're wanting to put in, and I can tell the community about it and let them know that these are the new things that are happening, you know, so it's really fun to be able to uh, be that bridge and to be able to convey, you know, what the developers really want to do with the game. We hope they all had a great time at our offices, and hope to see them again next year. So guys, that was the October episode of InnoGames TV. If you like this episode, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, and Twitch. We'll make sure to bring you the latest news on all our games. Bye!